drink it every day, but do we ever stop to think about what goes into it? One international study is now suggesting the fluoride in our drinking water could be affecting our children's IQ. If you've got evidence that fluoride decreases IQ, what the hell are we putting in our water for? The debate over adding fluoride to drinking water has been raging for decades. But new research warning the chemical reduces children's IQ has anti-fluoride campaigners up in arms. We should be ending fluoridation right now. This is another nail in fluoridation's coffin. The Harvard University study found children living in parts of China with high levels of fluoride in the water have a lower IQ. But experts here insist our water is safe. Fluoride levels in Australia are very safe and there's a lot of work that goes into making sure that the levels are at an optimum amount so that we maximise the benefit to children and adults' oral health without there being any negative side effects. Nearly all water in Australia has fluoride added to it. The process started in Hobart and Canberra in 1964 and Brisbane was the last area to adopt the practice four years ago. The reason we add fluoride to our water supply is clear and that is to actually reduce tooth decay. The benefits to the health of an individual with healthy teeth are really immeasurable. It's estimated bad teeth costs the Australian economy more than $1.3 billion a year in health expenses and lost productivity from days off work. Tooth decay is one of those things that we know affects health. It actually affects your heart health, it affects your general health, it affects your nutrition. But anti-fluoride campaigners claim any amount of the chemical is toxic. Fluoride is an endocrine disruptor that can cause skin rashes, dermatitis, migraines. There's a link with osteosarcoma bone cancer in boys. According to health authorities, those claims just don't stack up. The reality is that there's been a lot of work done over a long period of time and we simply haven't seen any of the negative effects that the anti-fluoridationists keep on saying is caused by water fluoridation. And despite this latest study on fluoride and kids IQ, the AMA says there's no reason to stop drinking Australian tap water. Any new evidence needs to be taken into consideration but we've got to look at the whole series of evidence and make a judgement and still heavily weighted towards fluoride. And we should just in a, add a detail, the town in China where the study was conducted, the levels of fluoride in the water there were like more than 20 times the, the safe level that we have here in Australian water. So, so the study is not of water in Australia. I'm guessing they, didn't have, they wouldn't have had fluoride in the water where you grew up? Because I'm not smart or I am smart. I don't know. But no, they did have fluoride. I was meaning more because of your teeth. Yes. Uh, can you I say? No, no. Dave always talks about how he has, he's had bad teeth no, since right. he was little. And kids, you've got to brush your teeth as well as drink the water, all right? <laughs> don't go away. <laughs>